Welcome to the Matt Kuda Photography Podcast, a podcast about nature and wildlife photography in your own backyard and throughout the United States. Okay, welcome back to the podcast. This is the Behind the Shot Podcast. As usual, go ahead and find the show notes, click on the link for the follow along image, and it will take you out to my Flickr page. Now the shot you have before you is a shot that I took that honestly took a lot of preparation and forethought. I enjoy, first of all, it's a scenic, right? It's it's a landscape image. It's a black and white image of a forest, a pine forest that stretches out into the distance. Uh, It's an area that I had under surveillance for some time. I drove by it on my way to work every single day. I have a 65 minute commute to my day job. And so I see a lot of things along the way. And this was one of the first things that I saw when I was commuting and I started my new job. Primarily, I photograph wildlife. You know that. But I absolutely have a strong passion for landscapes. I just don't get out and photograph them enough to make it worth my while. But in this particular case, I really waited patiently. At the time, I had my Canon 1D Mark II. I had a, honestly, a fairly inexpensive lens. I had a, a 22 to, to 55 lens, a kit lens that was made back in the uh, late 90s. But it, it didn't stop me, okay? It, it did not stop me from making this photograph. Don't let your equipment stop you from making the photograph. That's the first thing I want to talk about. Don't use equipment as an excuse. Just because you have a flimsy lens doesn't mean you can't do something interesting with it. You know, just because you don't have the latest L quality lens doesn't mean you throw your hands up in the air and quit. I would say it's just the opposite. You keep pushing forward, you keep making better and better photographs, and eventually you'll save up enough money to buy a better lens. So, how did I make this photograph? First of all, Let's look at the specs on the photograph. I shot it with, again, I shot it with my 1D Mark II, my 22 to 55 millimeter Canon EF lens. I used F16 as the aperture because I wanted maximum depth of field without going too far. If I had selected F22, I know that this particular lens would start to have a lot of diffraction, so I wanted to avoid that. Um, I shot it at the 35 millimeter range of this lens. Well, frankly, just because I thought the scene looked best that way. Um, Having a zoom, by the way, is an excellent thing in this situation to have. Uh, Being able to compose it exactly the way you want. This is shot full frame. What you're seeing here is the full frame image. There's no cropping. Um, I shot an ISO 100, which is the, the best ISO for this camera. But what I like about the image, if you look at the image... It's all about symmetry. This image is, is, is pretty much symmetrical. I mean, yes, some of the trees are a little fatter, some of them are a little thinner, uh, but pretty much it's, you're looking at like a path right down the middle of these trees. And you're probably asking yourself, how in the world are these trees so perfectly aligned? The reason for that is this is a logging forest. This was a forest that was designed and grown for timber. It was designed for to, to eventually go to a mill where they'll make you know long planks from these these pine trees. And if you look at it, it's very well manicured. Well, I mean fairly well manicured. It's still very woodsy in there. There's still a lot of sticks and pine needles and so forth all over. But if you look, they've actually been able to, you know, prune the, the bad branches off the trees and so forth and so it grows better with less knots and less less chances of of marking up the tree and damaging the tree. It was a perfect scenario for a scenic, a symmetrical scenic. I like how the path leads your eye back through the image to to the trees in the background. Um, I like how there's fog and every, the trees simply disappear into the fog. I intentionally waited, by the way. Uh, for the fog, um, this was uh, I, I drove by. Like I said, I drove by this 
probably, you know, 50, 60 times before I got this, the lighting that I wanted. This is early in the morning. This is about, um, probably somewhere around seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, you're, you're, you're seeing the fog. You're seeing kind of a subdued light. I went black and white on the image. I thought it looked best that way. I cranked up the, the contrast in the scene. I cranked up the, uh, um, actually, I think in this case, I think on this photograph, no, I know on this photograph, I use silver effects pro on it to give me a little bit more of an edgy look, a little bit more detail in the bark and so forth. Um, this is a, this is an image that a lot of people like that I created. Um, I've not really entered it in any competitions or anything. I just, it's just, a um, it is what it is. Um, I can't say I particularly have sold any great quantities of this image. I also like the way this, the, by the way, I also like the way that the, I cropped the trees off at the top. I, I cropped them like halfway up. Um, that was intentional. I wanted to show the form and structure of the tree trunks themselves. I wanted that to be prominent. Um, so, you know, keep your eye out for this type of thing. I've seen other photographs taken in, of similar locations. And uh, easily done, easily done, but you have to wait for exactly the right moment. And that's what being a landscape photographer is all about. But anyway, that's all I had. Thanks for listening. Make it a great day and get out there and enjoy nature. Bye-bye. for this episode was provided by Dr. Turtle.